April 28, 1950, in New Rochelle, New York, James Douglas Muir Leno is an American comedian, writer, producer, and television host. Best known as the second longest running host of The Tonight Show, Jay started his career as a stand-up before becoming a comedy writer for television. Along with hosting The Tonight Show, Jay also had a career as an actor. Often appearing on TV shows as himself, Leno has actually been acting on television since 1976 when he appeared on the TV show Good Times. But you already knew that. So here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Jay Leno. Number 10. He has dyslexia. Most people know that Leno saved every dollar he ever earned from The Tonight Show, living solely on the money he earned doing stand-up. Leno says part of the reason he did that is because of his Depression-era parents and partially because of his dyslexia saying, quote, When you put numbers in front of me, I'm all over the place. If there's any risk, I'm not interested. My money goes straight to the hammock referring that his money relaxes and he works. Number nine, he lives a very clean life. Leno has always been known for his clean and easy to digest comedy. A lot of people claim this is one of the reasons he got The Tonight Show instead of David Letterman, who was more an unconventional comedian at the time. Leno's personal life is also clean. He has been married to his wife, Mavis, since 1980. He's paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to charities, received an honorary doctor of humane letters from his old college, and he also noted that he doesn't smoke, drink, or gamble. Number eight, his famous chin is a medical disorder. When you think of Jay Leno, a few things come to mind. His clean comedy, his longtime feud with Letterman, and his distinctive chin. His prominent jawline actually comes from a medical condition called mandibular prognathism. Nailed it. A genetic disorder which causes the jawline to grow larger and protrudes more than the average. Leno is aware of this and it can be fixed by surgery, but Leno has no interest due to the long healing process where his jaw would be wired shut. Number seven, he was not allowed to do Michael Jackson jokes in 2005. In 2005, Leno's time as host of The Tonight Show was coming to an end, or so we all thought. He had been the host since 1992, taking over for Johnny Carson, and during his tenure, he wasn't afraid to make jokes about any topic or celebrity. Making jokes about politicians, athletes, movie stars, and musicians. So, in 2005, when Michael Jackson went on trial for alleged child molestation, Leno was ready. But there was a problem. Leno was a witness for the defense and had to appear in court. Because of this, Leno was ordered not to do any jokes about Jackson or the subsequent trial. Not wanting to pass up this potential comedy goldmine, Leno and his writers exploited a loophole and had other people do jokes about Jackson as the court order only said that Leno himself could not make any jokes about Jackson. The court challenged this, but Leno won and was able to do jokes about the trial, just nothing on Jackson's testimony. Leno celebrated this by having an entire episode on nothing but Michael Jackson jokes. Number six taking over The Tonight Show was ugly. In 1992, Leno was chosen as Johnny Carson's replacement as host of The Tonight Show, and most people, including Carson himself, were not happy about the choice. Most assumed that David Letterman would take over after Johnny left, as Letterman hosted The Late Show right after The Tonight Show. But NBC chose the more clean-cut Leno as it would be assumed that he would be the more family-friendly choice. Leno took over as The Tonight Show's host on May 25, 1992, while Letterman went on to star on his own show on CBS, while Conan O'Brien took over as host of The Late Show. 
During this time, Leno's longtime manager, Helen Kushnick, started as executive producer of the show, during which time she would threaten potential guests to not appear on other late night talk shows if they ever wanted to be a guest on The Tonight Show. Leno would eventually gain a following with famous bits such as headlines and jaywalking and would consistently lead in the ratings. Number 5. The Tonight Show with Jay Leno had some pretty notable episodes. Leno's first run as host lasted from May 25, 1992 to May 29, 2009, during which time Leno had some pretty memorable episodes. On May 9, 1994, actor-comedian Bobcat Goldthwait was a guest and set fire to one of the chairs, resulting in a fairly large fine. On July 10, 1995, Hugh Grant made his first public appearance after his highly publicized arrest with a hooker. In September of 2000, during an energy crisis in California, The Tonight Show aired, lit by nothing but candles and flashlights, called Tonight Show Unplugged. On May 12, 2003, Leno switched hosting duties with Today Show host Katie Couric. Leno hosted the Today Show, while Couric hosted the Tonight Show, which would mark the one and only time during Leno's tenure that he had a guest host. Number 4. He has a net worth of around $350 million. Look, it's a well-known fact that Leno never touched a dime of his money that he made on his run during the Tonight Show. Everyone knows that. But have you ever wondered how it was that he was able to support himself and his wife and how he was able to afford all those classic cars he has? Well, turns out he has a very simple answer. He's always had two incomes and he puts the bigger income in the bank and lives off the smaller one. Leno said about this strategy, quote, when I was younger, I would always save the money I made working at the car dealership and I would spend the money I made as a comedian. When I started to get a bit famous, the money I was making as a comedian was way more than the money I was making at the car dealership. So I would bank that and spend the car dealership money. A tactic he continued as Tonight Show host. Leno said about that, quote, when I got The Tonight Show, I always made sure I did 150 comedy show gigs a year so I never had to touch the principal. I've never touched a dime of my Tonight Show money. Ever. Number 3. He played a superhero for years. Besides being known as Tonight Show host, you may not know that Leno has had a pretty long career as an actor having 98 acting credits to his name on IMDb. Even though in his later years he usually played himself, early in his career he would appear on television quite a lot, appearing in shows like Good Times and Laverne and Shirley. Leno has also done a lot of voice work. He's lent his voice to South Park as himself and as a cat, Pixar's Cars as Jay Limo, and as the superhero The Crimson Chin on the cartoon Fairly Odd Parents. From 2001 to 2011, Leno would appear on 11 episodes as the character. Number 2. Leno has a car worth $12 million. People know that Leno loves cars, and he has amassed a large collection. He currently owns about 181 cars and about 160 motorcycles worth an estimated 50 million, or about 14% of all of Leno's net worth. Some of the cars in his collection include a 2017 Ford GT, a 1906 Stanley Steamer, a 1937 Fiat Topolino, a 2006 Ecojet, a vehicle that Jay helped design, a 1955 Buick Roadmaster, a 1955 Mercedes SL Gullwing Coupe, and a 1994 McLaren F1 
worth an estimated $12 million. And it's one of only 64 ever built. Number one. He squatted in open houses when he moved to L.A. In an interview with Money Magazine, Leno said that when he moved to Los Angeles, he would look in the paper for open houses. He would hide in a closet and wait for the realtor to leave, and he would stay in the empty house for the night. He would sometimes stay two or three days. He did admit in the same interview that he was occasionally picked up by the police. He said they would put you in the back of the car and drive you around their whole shift and drop you off in the morning. He would also tell jokes for the policeman while he was in the back of the squad car.